How was your journey? Uh, it was a bit shaky. Um, yeah, we were sat on the tarmac for an hour and a bit, and then uh, pretty rough take off, pretty rough landing. The guy behind us was sick. <laughs> so, uh, no, but we got here um, late last night, and then, yeah, hopefully the flight back's all right. Hopefully we can all make it home again. I know. Um, well, congratulations on being uh, named co-captain uh, for Scotland for the Six Nations. Can you uh, give us your reaction to the news? How, how was that for you and for your family as well? I was delighted, obviously. I got the call from Gregor on Saturday. Um, he told me the news and, yeah, um, just honoured. It's a privilege, you know, to do something like this, especially with somebody like Finn, who's, uh, who's Finn. You know, he's, he is who he is and it's, yeah, I can't wait to get into it with him. Um, called my folks after and... Yeah, my mum was a bit teary. Um, she said my dad was as well, but my dad said he wasn't, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was a good moment, and um, now I just can't wait to get into it. Yeah, I bet you can't wait to start. I mean, can you give us an idea of how you think this will work and how you and Finn will work together to, to leave this side? Yeah, I think um, since I've been involved with Scotland, it's always been shared responsibility amongst the leaders. Um, so I was in the leadership group, and... Um, you know, that's something that Jamie was really good at is bringing other people up and, and getting them to showcase their leadership. Um, so I think it'll, it won't be too different to how it's been. Um, you know, we'll wait and see uh, how, how it goes, but I think we're both quite different in how we play the game and our, our styles and our approach. So I think it'll be a good balance. And can you just give us a sense of, of where this Scotland team is at off the back of the World Cup? How are you guys feeling and what's the kind of feeling heading into the tournament? Well, clearly the last game of the World Cup was a disappointment for us. Um, never performed how we wanted to and obviously the result, uh, we were on the wrong side of that. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to getting back in as a squad and we've looked at some of that stuff already on Wednesday and, and I'm sure we'll look at it a bit more maybe, just reference it. But, um, you know, we're looking forward to getting back into try and put things right. On a personal level, it was good to, you know, after the World Cup, get back and get into games again with Glasgow straight away. Um, so that's what you want to do in sport after, you know, a loss. You, you, you're desperate to get back out there, but there's definitely something feels like you, you know, not sitting right when you've not been out for that long with the national side. When we talk about Scotland and the Six Nations, it seems to be a story of. Oh, <laughs> great kind of individual results, you know, wins against England recently, but not being able to put the consistency together to actually challenge for the title. Do you think this could be a different story this year? What's it going to take for Scotland to, to challenge properly? Yeah, I mean, I would agree that consistency is obviously um, a work on, but it's a very sort of easy question to ask. It's quite a hard answer to come up with, you know, how do you get better consistency? Um, we're going to work hard at it and, you know, really look into how we can get better at that. I think um, part of the challenge in the Six Nations is obviously we've got Cardiff first up, um, which our record speaks for itself. It's not great down there, so um, building up a lot of belief and a lot of effort goes into sort of going down there and trying to get a result. And then regardless of what happens, being able to sort of wipe our mentality of that and then go into a game that's going to be just as intense the week after. So. Um, that's the challenge of the Six Nations. Obviously, every team has that challenge. Um, and yeah, we'll just be looking into how we can get better at that. And obviously, Jamie's in the squad, but not captain this time. As we open the door to you, how much of a shock was it that, that you know Scotland are going in a different direction with captain seat? Yeah, I wasn't. Um, it's not like I was sitting expecting to get the call and be be named as captain. Um, but you know, I'm just can't wait for it. I, I said earlier, you know, um, all the leaders that are within the squad anyway, um, and I can only see that as a benefit to myself and Finn. Uh, Jamie, as you mentioned, um, great leader and somebody that I'm probably going to lean on a little bit and, and try and learn as much as I can off of him and he'll lead throughout this campaign, no doubt. And um, Guys like Grant Gilchrist, guy that I looked up to when I first came into Edinburgh, he was a leader, so... Um, he'll be the same. Sione Tuipotu, Kyle Stane, they're both the uh, skippers at Glasgow. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, like I said, it can only be a benefit having that in the squad and we're not shy of leaders. And just, obviously, you mentioned Wales first up. They're going to be about Blue Reese Summit, mm. taking on this challenge of trying to make it as an NFL player. 
what do you make of that and the whole direction of rugby at the moment where you know top talents like him are deciding to look elsewhere for maybe money and opportunities rather than stay in the game I think well he's um, you know he's obviously similar to my age he's a young man and he wants to go and have a crack at it and I think that's you know fair play um, see how he goes um, I don't know much about NFL so <laughs> maybe not the person to quiz on this but um, I'm excited to see how yeah how he goes with that and uh, all the best to him I guess Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Go well. Thank you very much. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Thank you. guys. Bye.